Hi, welcome back. The purpose of this video is to show you exactly what happened when I tried to move my mailing list from yourmainlistprovider.com to aweber.com and um, why things went a little bit uh, awry. So one of the reasons I was moving to Aweber is because they boast very high deliverability um, statistics. As you can see here on the home page they boast a better than 99.34% email deliverability which is very good and the reason why they can boast such a high rate is because they have a very strict policy um, to stop the majority of users from using spam and one of the ways they do that is by insisting in nearly every case that the users and the people who are sending the emails use a confirmed opt-in process. So let me just show you inside the control panel, I'll show you how this works. When it comes to, when I came to moving my list from um, from your main list provider to Aweber, I had to import my leads through this page. And what it says here is that all imported leads must be verified before they'll be added to your mailing list. Within minutes of being imported, a notice will be sent to the lead asking them to verify that they did indeed request to be on the mailing list. Once verified, they will immediately be added to your account and visible for email delivery. In other words, when you import the lead, it won't just be added straight away to your list with Aweber. Instead, an email will go out to them first, asking them if they really want to be on this list. Now, that's fine if somebody's just subscribed, um, but if, as in my case, you're transferring a list across, then that person doesn't necessarily know that that's what's taking place. Now, this, let me show you why I made this mistake. If you come down here a little bit, um, this is where you import the leads, this is the form that you use. To start with you have to explain to Aweber why you're importing the leads um, and according to this it's not automated, um, a member of their staff will read this to make sure that it's legitimate. Um, if they don't think it's legitimate then presumably they, will, they won't approve it. Um, and then here you copy all the leads you know, in whatever, whatever source you got it in. Um, now I had it in my mind for some reason which um, <laughs> right now I, I can't tell you why I had this in my head but I figured that when I clicked on next it would give me an opportunity to say what was going to go in the email um, to you when the email went out so I was going to put in something like hi I'm moving from your main list provider to Aweber uh, Aweber require a confirmed opt-in process if you still want to receive emails from me click the link that would have been great right um, unfortunately that isn't what happens what actually happens is when I click next it sent out this email here. Now this is the email that goes out when somebody's subscribing um, f for the first time. So let's say you've completed the form on the Nettle Magazine website. This is the confirmed opt-in email that goes out. Makes perfect sense for that, but in terms of transferring the list from one place to another, this makes no sense whatsoever. So unsurprisingly, when this went out to everybody, um, what I got was lots of emails saying, uh, hang on, aren't I already a subscriber? Why are you sending me this confirmed opt-in? Uh, yes, very, very good question indeed. Um, so what I should have done, well, there's actually a couple of things I could have done, um, on what I should have done. Um, what I should have done first of all was send an email from the previous mailing list provider. Um, whatever I decided to do, that would have made sense. Um, so if you're in a position where you're going to be moving lists to into Aweber, um, I would highly recommend doing that, sending out um, a warning to your list first. And then edit this um, before you begin. So what you can actually do is you can click on there and you can actually type in um, what you want the first what you want the first message to say. So it could say something like, you know, as I mentioned uh, early on today or yesterday, I'm moving my list into Aweber. If you still want to receive emails from me, you must conf you must uh, complete the confirm not in feature. Um, please click the link below. So I, I recommend um, doing both. Send a warning and then um, edit that message first. Um, whatever you do, don't do what I did and just uh, import the leads and hope for the best. Because that's, uh, that will cause you a headache that you don't want. Um, on a related note, I must say, I rang Aweber to talk to them about it and they were extremely helpful. Um, none, 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 none of the, the mess I experienced last week was their fault. This was entirely my, uh, my, my mistake. So... Um, so I just thought I'd, uh, I'd make a video of this just so you can see what actually happens inside of Aweber and um, and see that the system is actually very good, um, but it, it helps if uh, if you actually read um, what the, what happens in the process first um, before you begin it. Okay, so um, thank you to everybody who um, who emailed me to tell me that, um, about my mistake, uh, and particularly to one or two um, who uh, emailed me to tell me how to make better use of Aweber. Um, particularly I'd like to thank Scott Raven who. Uh, who uh, helped me out with some things related to Aweber, but that's actually going to save me an awful lot of money over the next year. Um, so thank you again for that. And um, on that note, um, look out for an email from me tomorrow. I'm going to tell you about a, a new offer 
um, that Scott Ravens put together very recently, which I think you'll uh, I think you'll be very pleased with. So thank you very much for stopping by, and uh, I'll uh, speak to you again soon.